Welcome to the MLB The Show 22 feature premieres. In each feature premiere, we will take a look at what's new and updated in MLB The Show 22. This is a special week with the feature premiere on Wednesday. But after this, you can tune in each Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific for a new episode with the last episode happening on March 31st as we count down to early access on April 1st. You can watch on Twitch and YouTube, so make sure you subscribe so you can be notified when we go live. Let's get into this week's episode, Online Co-op. Today, we're going to talk about co-op. Yes, in MLB The Show 22, we're adding two versus two and three versus three online co-op games, and you can play with your friends on all consoles as co-op is cross-play and cross-platform. I'm joined by Kyle Saw and Kyle Blake. We likely have some new fans. Why don't you tell us what you do here at San Diego Studio and your favorite baseball player, Kyle Saw, you go first. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Happy to be a part of this co-op feature premiere. Uh, I am Kyle Saul, like Ramon said, gameplay producer here, uh, looking to keep our gameplay tight, keep the animations fresh, updated, and get that realism one-to-one with, uh, with real-life MLB. And your favorite baseball player? My favorite baseball player would be Cal Ripken Jr. Hey, Cal Blake! What's up, folks? I'm Kyle Blake. I am a uh, senior technical game designer here at San Diego Studios and product owner of Diamond Dynasty. I'm super excited to show everyone this feature and my favorite baseball player. If you've ever seen me on a stream, I can't stop mentioning him. Byron Buxton. Byron Buxton. All right. So, well, let's get into this. So we got co-op now. Kyle, what's the story behind co-op? <sighs> co-op. Well, a few years, a few years back, before, before we got this 2v2, 3v3 online co-op, we used to sit in what is affectionately known as the test bay in the studio, and we used to have three, four, five guys in there, and we would just alternate turns online playing our community members. You know, we would have people taking celeb bats or celeb pitch innings, and you know, it kind of spawned uh, the uh, implementation of co-op, and we here at SDS Studios are really looking to improve our social experience and really want to encourage play with random and friends, so that's one of the big reasons why we're getting co-op uh, in the game this year that's fantastic now here's a really cool thing is that you don't have to wait until mlb the show 22 launches on april 5th to play co-op it is available in the tech test so eventually you're going to see us play a co-op game one thing you have to remember is we're going to be playing on an advanced build right because we're a little bit in the future right the tech test build is not a full representation of the final product of mlb the show 22 so play with friends will not be available so we got three friends going in and we'll be moving between each of them to see who's playing how do we set up each team so I'm gonna invite you Kyle Blake right now as a friend invite you to our co-op lobby waiting for you to uh, join accept our invitation got the invite Let's awesome. go feel free to hop on in there on my way sweet do, do, do. and then let's find the third just by randomly uh, searching online and quick shout out to awesome. the art team, you know, Jen, Christina, Jez, Atlanta, and Adam Hamill, always bringing the fire with the profile icons, the card art, everything. Always fire. Some thank you guys. Really, really good stuff. And also, thank you, Matthew Schaefer. You know, this is this front end that you're seeing. This is all Matthew Schaefer's design. So we appreciate you, Matt. Shout out, Matt. And remember, so this is the game flow that you're going to see in the finished product of MLB The Show 22. Of course, it may look a little bit different because we are not done polishing, but this is not the game flow you're gonna see in a tech test. Remember, the tech test, we're trying to test out new features, we wanna get your feedback on gameplay, and we want you to try out co-op, see if it's fun. Yeah, please give it a go. Please give it a go. So the first thing you're gonna notice is that one of our users on screen is the captain. You have the ability to reassign a captain to someone else if you don't want what the uh, captain's abilities and responsibilities mean, which we'll get into a little bit down the road as we uh, work ourselves into a game. You might notice in the bottom right, the touch pad with uh, three little dots next to each other. And I'm gonna hold that down and expose our text chat with some emojis and keyboards for you. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit more as we hop in game and really highlight how important communication can be uh, for your teammates. 
So we're going through uh, the typical flow that you would see selecting a team. We are going to pick the best team in baseball, <laughs> Dodgers. <laughs> they weren't yeah, last my year. team is super excited about that. Uh, and we'll roll with the cat fan, Tony Gonsolin. All right, we're going to select the stadium to play in. And, huh, we're in minor leagues. I know what that means. We're ship going it. to okay, ship it. Not? So not? we're going to use this opportunity to let everybody know that the geolocation. <laughs> I did June. He did June. What are we doing? All-star, all-star? Yeah, and quick counts on. Why not? Quick counts on. So ship it stadium. Uh, change for MLB The Show 22. The geolocation for ship it stadium is no longer in Denver. You know what that means. You know, all of our stadiums have geolocations, and we're pulling in real atmos atmospheric effects. And as we all know, you know, the ball acts a little bit differently in Denver at those high altitudes. But Shippett Stadium is now no longer located in Denver. Rest in peace, my parallels grinding. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we are setting – well, we're not – Kyle is setting up his lineup, and I see this little C up here. Does that mean you're the captain of the team in this co-op game, Kyle? You got it, Ramon. So captain is going to be making all of the important selections uh, going into the game. Lineup, stadium, uh, time of day, month, of course. And so I, I like this lineup. It's pretty solid. So we're going to head on in. And who gets to uh, decide who's the captain if you're in 2v2 or 3v3 game? It's going to be the first person that hops in and creates that specific uh, game party matchup. Okay. So here we go. We're about to play a full, well, not a full game, but a three versus three co-op game online in MLB The Show 22, which you will also Ooh. be able to do Get there. in the tech test. Not a great way to start off. That Not was, a great way to start off, Gabe. So, Kyle, can you explain uh, your three team members and their responsibilities here? What are we looking at at the top left uh, side of the screen? Yeah, so if you're taking a look at the top left portion of your screen, you'll notice what we call the HUD, uh, heads up display, and you'll notice three distinct uh, different icons we got there. So the top one is which I, the role that I am filling, captain, and you can see I am the middle red portion, which is... Oh man, I'm talking and I'm not making the throwdown. Jeez. And so what's going on is I'm pitcher catcher in this situation. And you can see that from the square indicating the pitcher catcher location on the field. And that's oh. Oh. And that is over to Rory, who from the blue indicator you can tell is covering the middle portion of our field. All right. Oh, that's Kyle. I'm getting my getting my uh, teammates crossed up. That was so about the <laughs> yeah. process of elimination. Nice work. And so you'll notice I'm on the mound for the entire inning, and that's by design. When you're playing defense, you'll stick to that same role for all three outs. And when you're hitting, you will go one, two, three through the lineup. He's not going, not going. He's not going. Can't. And it obviously means the person in yellow is, they have control of the outfield. They got the outfield. For this inning. For this inning only. Okay, what happens when we switch innings and we come back? Then, Let's see, we got that infielder taking over the pitcher catcher role, outfielder moving to infield, and then I will be hopping to outfield. So everybody gets to do everything throughout the course of a game. You got it. Everybody's got to take their, their stab at pitching, infield, and outfield. That's a huge pitch right there. I'm going to ring him up. Whew. Clutch up for me, Saul. Let's get this last out. I mean, I was hoping you guys would have thrown a little uh, goat emoji at me for that big strikeout. Get out of the Take inning and you'll little, get your... Oh, oh, come on. All right. Nice. Nope. All he right. got it. So I goat. feel like that's that's worthy of... Coach emojis. Let's go. So for all of you joining us, we are playing 3 versus 3 co-op online in MLB The Show 22, a brand new feature. We're playing on a development build that's a little bit further ahead than the tech test build you will be playing on very, very shortly. So, are you batting now, Kyle? I am Ooh, batting now. Oh, and that is not a hit. Mm. You hate to see it. I'm just going to let my teammates know up. I'm crying a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. And so, when when you hold down that uh, the uh, chat system, you'll be able to uh, send some different coach emojis on there, send some different baseball types of signals to your teammates if you don't want to use uh, voice chat, which we can uh, talk about a little bit after this. So yeah, if, you, if you're if you not big into voice and you want to communicate with 
emojis with with tech chat or just with some quick chat like hey, hit and run or I'm gonna bunt let's let's steal here you can communicate through nonverbal means that way if you want and then I mean it's always good to throw a fire emoji after someone hits a no doubter Ooh, Rory that's tough that's tough uh, and um, yeah we have voice chat which is a really integral part you know we wanted to make sure that you had every form of communication possible uh, not everybody's going to want to put their voice out there, and we understand that. So, you know, we have the nonverbal communication means if you like that as well. Now I get to dot them up. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're at the top. Were we at the top we of the second? We are at the top of the second. Which means you are not controlling the outfield. Correct. Nice. These co op games are uh, pretty intense around the office. Bubble. What pitch should I throw here, Saul? I'm not Ooh, too sure. I think I think we, you should hit him with that splitter, splitter down. down and away. Mm. I like that. And so what Kyle just brought up here is our uh, pretty cool little pitch suggest feature. It's probably one of my one of the favorite features in co-op is just that communication, that little secret communication that only you and your teammates are aware about. And so to use that uh, suggest pitch feature, you'll hold down R2 when you're not the pitcher, and it's going to bring up the pitch selection box for uh, that specific pitcher on the mound. And and then you'll just be able to, uh, yeah, we'll just highlight it again, too. I'm bringing it up. Oh, I want him to throw that slider away. Slider away. I like that. I like that. If he hits a home run, it's on you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great suggestion, nice folks. Easy out. Easy out. Easy out. That's two. So That's let's two. say you want to warm up a pitcher. How does that work in co-op, Kyle? So in co-op, the captain has all those controls. So me being the captain, I can hop in there, decide, ah, you know, let's get let's get a lefty up and let's get a righty up just in case. I doubt it. We are a much better team than who our competitors. So I'm not not too worried. But the captain oh, wow. is the one driving all of those decisions. Right. They, they decide substitutions they decide bullpen management but again there's ways to communicate with your teammates so you can let them know i don't think that's a great idea i would i think you should put this this specific picture in and the captain role doesn't rotate throughout the innings you're the captain for the entire game correct yep you're the captain for the entire time and you have the option like i had mentioned to uh reassign that captain role in the front end get it nice how a boy rory nice play Web gem. Defense. That's great, team, great teamwork, great communication. Web nice. Gym. That's what co-op's all about. And so the uh, the HUD when you're on offense looks a little bit different than defense. You're uh, going to notice that my role has the batter icon on it, while the other two, my other two teammates, are showing their specific uh, unique icons to themselves. And if I'm fortunate enough to get a runner on base, you'll notice my icon change to a runner icon, letting me know that I have control of uh, the base runners. Oh, beat, oh, it, beat out. it out. Beat it out. Come on, Muncie. Let's go. Oh. Hey. Okay, here we go. Some user error led to this. So now you can see that we got the dev test three who will be hitting and I'm on base running.
they switch. So everybody's going to get a chance to hit. Everybody gets a chance to pitch, yep. to field as the catcher, the infield, and the outfield, correct? You got it. Yeah, so that was one of the most important parts of co-op was making sure that everybody felt like they contributed, they were part of the team. And so, you know, one of the aspects of real life baseball as you're working through the lineup, one, two, three, and so on and so forth, is you know, shift. you're going to put some pressure on specific teammates depending on where you're at in the game, and you don't want to let them down. So just speaking from the amount of games I've played, you know, getting set up in the ninth inning after having a terrible game, and, you know, we got the game-winning run at third base, you know, I don't want to say it's 100% like real life, but my palms are sweaty on the controller, <laughs> and so it feels good to come through in those moments. Also, another thing that happens in co-op that doesn't happen in a regular game, you know, the regular game, you're using one person, the computer has control of everybody else. However, in co-op, remember, everybody's sharing responsibility. Mm -hmm. So you might be the pitcher and catcher. Someone else might be the infield. If you're the pitcher, you might have to cover for a base. Yes. And so you have to keep – you've got to keep your head on a swivel because you're going to be needing to cover sometimes. Right, Kyle? Yeah, exactly. That's that's the thing. you got to really keep your head in the game at all times because you don't know when, uh, when it's going to be your time to make a big play. Like just right field? here, it's yeah. really cool. I got to field the ball in the outfield and throw it in to the a different player who is controlling the cutoff man. Exactly. The plan is working. Oh, that plan didn't work. Rory, it'd be, we are giving up lasers. It'd be awesome if you could stop getting shelled, yeah. Rory. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Rory, emojis. I'm, I'm pretty upset. See, now. this is the beauty of co-op. <laughs> Let's go. Not only can you come through for your teammates, but if you make a mistake, <laughs> you're going to hear about it. Yeah, you're absolutely going to hear about it in voice chat. All right, so Boston is up 2-0. I think we've covered almost everything there is to cover about 2v2 and online 3v3 co-op when it comes to using regular teams. What does that mean, Kyle Blake? Oh, we're not done yet. Uh, All right, we're not done yet. We're going to pause real quick, set up a new game, and we'll be right back to talk about Diamond Dynasty and Co-op. Let's go. Let's go. So, Kyle Blake, Co-op is also coming to Diamond Dynasty. That's right. 2v2, 3v3 is coming to Diamond Dynasty. But how does it work in the Diamond Dynasty setting, Kyle? That's right. So, we're here in the uh, Co-op Diamond Dynasty lobby. We've got a 2v2 game set up. I've added my buddy Kyle Saul. And as you can see, I'm the captain. So, if I go to the next screen... This is where the magic really happens. And so Kyle, Saul, and I are going to use our collections to build a team together. And so any Diamond Dynasty card that you unlock and own, you can add to a squad, and together those uh, cards will make a team. Um, so I'm going to add six, he's going to add six, and then the rest will be filled out by seri uh, Silver Live Series players. So I'm going to do something a little special. We announced Justin Morneau and Joe Mauer today arguably the greatest legends we've ever added to the game and we're going to show a little game playoff maybe Ooh, and we're also showing off the new card art Ooh, baby and the new diamond card art shout out to the artists you know who they are christina Ooh. jen jazz aslanta adam and ashley for once again bringing the fire in the card art now something that you mentioned you're combining your Diamond Dynasty collection for online DD co-op, right? That's right. And so you 2v2, how many players do you get to choose? So it's six players each. That's three position players, one starting pitcher, and two relievers. And same for 3v3? Uh, 3v3 is four players each, two position players, one starter, and one reliever each. And one more time, how does the rest of your team get filled out? That's uh, silver live series players, just a bunch of random ones throw on your team. Okay, so the rest of your squad will be filled out by random live series players. That's right. All righty yeah. then. So we got our picks in. Are we ready to jump into a game? Yeah, the one last really cool thing to mention is we can't pick the same players, and so they've got to be unique different players. So if I were to go in here, I can uh, see... Uh, in the top right, I can see which players that Kyle's added to the squad, which players I've added to the squad, and it'll show up on the UI on the left as well. And we have voice chat here, quick chat, emojis, and so you can really communicate and not only uh, play socially, but actually build a team socially as well. All right. We're also going to get this question, too. Let's say you've paralleled a card, mm -hmm. and he's paralleled a card. How does that work? Yeah, so whoever uh, adds the card to the squad, you'll be using that parallel level. So if I've grinded out a parallel five Byron Buxton and I've added him to the squad, uh, 
we will see that reflect in game. And even when Kyle Saul bats with Byron Buxton, he'll have my Parallel 5 version of Buxton. All righty then. Let's ready up. Ready up. So we are in the lineup screen. What's happening, Kyle? All right, so I'm the captain. I'm going to uh, build our lineup real quick. I'm going to go back, uh, you know, to when I grew up watching baseball, having Mauer hitting the three hole and Morneau hitting the, uh, in the four hole. Sorry, Ryan Howard. We'll have to debut his gameplay later. Uh, let's make a few changes here. Buxton leading off. Everything's looking good. Let's do it. All right, so what you're about to see is these are the two starters that we've added to the squad. Flip over, play a little shell game. And as the captain, it's my job to pick uh, one of the ah, two starters. Ah, so it's random. Julio. Yeah. I, honestly, I kind of like Syndergaard, but we'll see. You got your wish, Let's Kyle. Go. All right, that's fine. That's fine. And into a game we go. So we're jumping into gameplay. Kyle saw what is different gameplay-wise in an online co-op Diamond Dynasty game. So in that 3v3 uh, game, you'll notice you're going to rotate between pitcher, catcher, infield, and outfield, all three being a distinct role that you're going to play. In a 2v2 setting, you're going to be pitcher, catcher, and then all defense. So infield, outfield is one position, pitcher, catcher is the other. And you'll rotate per inning uh, between those two. Okay, and like you said earlier, captain's role, do not rotate. Whoever's the captain at the beginning, you're the captain throughout the entire game. So you're controlled. You're the manager as well. Yeah, essentially but, you're the manager. But everything else, pitching and defense, rotates every other inning. Breaking I mean, news, every inning, breaking right? news. Yes. It is Joe Maurer's inaugural debut. Joe Maurer's first at you, bat. Kyle Saul. Oh, hey, classic Joe hitting it the other way. There's a lot of pressure, Saul. More nose on deck, just waiting. Get down, ball. Let's go. Oh, the other way. That Joe Mauro so makes his debut with a single. Remember, player ratings are not final. No, you saw a lot of player ratings. They are not final. Right, Steven? Here we go. More no. The Eminem boys. Oh. oh. First pitch swing. You hate to see it. Little part of me just died right there. Just a little, just a little bit. A lot of bit. A lot of bit. Colin here, jumping in. We've been seeing a lot of fans ask about the ability to match against specific opponents in co-op. At launch, you'll be able to pick your teammates, find other random teammates in two v two and three v three, but you'll always match against a random two or three person squad. Remember, this is just the beginning of our new co-op mode. Ron Howitz, first at bat. Here's his gameplay debut. I don't know if this is Rory or Lane, but I'm just glad I'm not the one pitching. And while this is the co-op feature premiere, you're probably seeing a lot of new presentation elements too. New score bug, nothing's final, still working on quite a lot of stuff. And that's teamwork, nice folks. That's nice teamwork. Uh-oh. Oh, Nicholas boy. Castellanos. Wonder who uh, added this guy to the team? Maybe one Rory McCann. Oh, we know Rory added him. Oh. Couldn't drive the slider. Pretty standard inning for us, Kyle. One, two, three. You know, it's just it's what we do. Yeah. Hmm. It's another day. So, we're, since we're playing an online co-op game in the Diamond Dynasty world, I'm sure we're going to get the question: Are there any rewards? That's a great question. So at launch, we really want to take it slow and we're starting out with just a casual experience. We want to get this right until we make it, uh, before we make it competitive and add a bunch of rewards to it. And so uh, it's definitely in our plans. Oh, there we go. It's definitely in our plans and we'll be making it happen real soon. We just want to make sure that the mode is in the best state. We want, uh, we want to think it's in a good state, but we want our community to also be telling us, hey, we're ready for competitive gameplay. And when it gets to that point, you'll be seeing some juicy rewards coming from co-op mode. And there it is. So before we go, remember, tech test you will be getting your hands on very, very soon. We're playing a different build in the tech test so we can invite our friends to play co-op. This is not available in the tech test, but this will be available in the final version of the game. Remember, the tech test is not a representation of MLB The Show 22. But please play away, play co-op. Try out Diamond Dynasty. Try out everything that's available in the tech test. We want to hear your feedback. Co-op, 2v2, 3v3, online, and we have online Diamond Dynasty co-op as well where you get to combine 
your player card collection. So we missing anything, fellas? Sounds like that's it. I'm pretty pumped. This has been so much fun playing around the office, and I just can't wait to get in everybody's hands. Byron Buxton at back. Kyle Blake, you need to focus here. Buxton, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Home Byron. run. Buxton. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Buxton bomb. Was that off, Rory? Because I'm not going to let him hear the end of it. So, Kyle, Saul, close us out. Super pumped to talk to you guys about co-op. Can't wait to be back in a couple of weeks to get uh, get some gameplay in front of your hands. But until then, enjoy the tech test, and uh, can't wait to get your feedback. Awesome. We want to thank Kyle and Kyle for joining us for this first feature premiere. We'll be back very, very soon to talk about all things gameplay. We want to give a big shout-out to everybody on the development team that made the tech test possible y'all will be playing it very soon and remember each other feature premiere will come on live at thursdays 3 p.m pacific time that's on twitch and youtube be sure to sign up at the show.com for all of the latest news and information join the scouting report we'll talk to you soon peace